Hello Taurus, hello Taurus, this is Capricorn Tigris, Adrian Igo of Astrology, A Look Inside, coming to you with your December 2018 horoscope, and happy holidays to all of you Tauruses out there. So, let's see what we're going to discuss here. Well, you know, the one thing, I've, I'll just start with this because it stands out to me. It looks like everything is above the horizon, almost, on your chart, just about, except for the North Node. The North Node is sitting down in your solar third house of communication. And this is saying to me that it's going to be a time when you're going to most likely spend or have to learn how to do more things that have to do with the third house or with things like your neighborhood and your community and um, neighbors and uh, family members like aunts and uncles and nephews and nieces and cousins um, family is well at least that extended family and your neighborhood small commutes um, reading small periodicals and newspapers and magazines and telephone calls and communication like writing to uh, people reading writing arithmetic all of those types of things that's all in the forefront of everything right now like messages talking communication speech letters um, all of those things are a big thing right now and um, the crazy thing is that opposing it on the other side of the chart for Taurus is um, Capricorn and in that area there's you know Pluto and Saturn is there and after the 21st of the month the Sun will be there as well in Capricorn and that's in that ninth house that could mean legal documents um, it could mean anything that has to do with the law or with legalities or with um, politics even or uh, international things or international travel or um, long-distance travel or um, your in-laws uh, religion politics dogma education higher education is indicated but these are the areas that are being highlighted by Pluto and Saturn and after the 21st of Sun and um, the North Node is opposite that so you're gonna have kind of different things going on um, in your life when it comes to these areas for the most part though the area that's most highlighted for Taurus is going to be the eighth house of resources this is other people's resources or resources that other people give to you this could mean that you're maybe highly lucky in getting help or money from sources that you didn't know were available to you um, so that that I can see that happening where you might get um, funds from an outside or know these or insurances or taxes or inheritances or um, pensions or anything like that you got your mercury your sun and jupiter there um, throughout the month um, in sagittarius in that eighth area and so uh, the areas of like death and sex are also there psychology and therapy that's big um, I would think for Taurus, this might be a deep time to go inside and do a little bit of deep introspection. It doesn't hurt to do that. And with Uranus in uh, the 12th house in Aries, and uh, at the end of the month on the 31st, uh, Mars goes into the 12th house in Aries. I, I, you know, you might be able to do some deep introspection. Uh, I'm not sure what Uranus there because it's kind of topsy-turvy in the 12th house but um, there's going to be some energies going on though with the 11th house of friends you've got Chiron there and uh, Neptune there and Mars there that just tells me that in that area there might be some wounds that you have to heal with friends and there's some confusion going on with friends there's some disillusionment there's something that's not ringing true between you and your friendships or your groups or associations or something not quite above board I don't know what's going on Mars is also there throughout most of the month in Pisces 
in the 11th house, which indicates that you might be reaching out for more friends and more associates and more groups and doing more things online like Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and stuff like that. You might even start looking at doing some online dating. That's a possibility, but be aware that with Neptune and Chiron there in that 11th house, there is a sense of confusion there and disillusionment. You could be fooled. Um, there is a movement of Mercury from the 8th house to the 7th house and also Venus is going to be hanging out in the 7th house for most of the month and this indicates that this could be partnerships or your marriage partner or it could mean you know uh, open enemies are there but with Venus there and Mercury there I think with a good conversation if you go back and talk things out you might be able to smooth things over and with Venus in the seventh house it's a great time to work on your partnerships and get those things healed anyway this was my take for your horoscope for the month of December okay this is just my personal insight as I look at your chart what I'm gonna do now is read or look at the um, calendar the aspects the actual aspects as they affect the month and the sign of Taurus for the month of December. So I'm going to start out um, with December 1st and on December 1st Mercury enters Scorpio. Scorpio is the opposite sign of Taurus and so that means there's going to be some emphasis of having Mercury in that solar seventh house. That's partnerships. This would be a great time to speak to your partner but just remember when you're talking that there is no such thing as all or nothing black or white your may way or my way my way or the highway try to stay away from that be open and listen to you know there's a million different areas of gray in between black and white and it's important that you're open to that that you have um, that knowledge I would if you think there's going to be a problem with the conversation have it another time maybe next week on the 2nd of December the Sun is square Mars and that Sun is in um, that solar eight that's in Sagittarius and Mars is in that 11th house that's in um, that's uh, <clears throat> Pisces Mars is in Pisces in the 11th house Hope you're not having sex with friends. Would not recommend that. It's not going to end well. And this could cause anger if that is something that's occurring. On the 5th, the sun is square Neptune. And the sun is uh, in that 8th house and Neptune is in that 11th house of friends again. So I can see that there could be some sadness maybe from this square because you could be feeling like weak in some way. I'm Again, I'm hoping there's nothing weird going on with friends and sexual things. That is not going to pan out well. I just don't see it. Although it could be, you know, with Mars in the 11th house and Jupiter in the 8th house. It might be. I can see that trying. It's a good time to relax and recover. And it's not a good day to build things, but it's a good day to relax, probably. On the 6th of December, there's a new moon in Sagittarius. That's that 8th house again. That's money or sex. I mean, hopefully it's... I don't know which is better for you right now, <laughs> money or sex, but it's one of them. Okay, and Mercury goes direct in Scorpio, so that's going to be in the 7th house, and Mercury goes direct. You'll be like, you can now have that conversation with your partner that you were thinking you wanted to have. And things should really start moving forward, hopefully. Um, Mars is conjunct Neptune in that 11th house of friends again, groups and associates. But I'm just thinking that there could be some real just confusion, maybe, in that area. Some misunderstandings, perhaps, to work out. Stuff like that. On the 8th, Chiron goes direct in Pisces, and that means there might be some old wounds that need to be healed in the area of your friendships. This might be a good time that you can do that, so I would reach out and try to clear up that. Uh, if you have that issue, try to work on clearing the issue with your friends and any enemies out there, friends that, enemies that were friends, clear that up. 
Mercury enters Sagittarius on the 12th, and that is that 8th house again. You're going to be thinking big things in the 8th house, maybe some money or some inheritances coming in. Um, on the 15th, the sun is in Sagittarius, and it is um, square the moon in Pisces. So we've got that 8th house, 11th house going on again. It could be that you have some kind of weird arguments with friends, but like I said, I hope that you've avoided having any type of intimate or sexual relationship with friends because that could cause that square to occur. Even though there's a great, there's Jupiter and the Sun and Mercury um, in that um, area, but I, well, Mercury's retrograding. Yeah, I would avoid it. Okay? Because that moon's going to be in the 11th house of friends. Just don't get emotional with your friends and start fights and stuff like that. It's not a good time for that. On the 20th, the sun is trying Uranus, and the sun, again, is in the 8th house, and Uranus is in the 12th house. So you're definitely going to be looking at some inner, maybe some inner dialogue, like um, hoping nothing sneaky in, happens that day. Because, you know, with Uranus, something sudden, the 8th house and the 12th house. Let's just hope you don't do anything that leads to your undoing. But it's a trine, so it should be positive. It's from the 8th house, so we'll see how that works out. On the 21st, the sun enters Capricorn. It's Capricorn season, and that's good for you, Tarsus, because that means that the sun is now trine, or it's going to start trining a lot of you Taurus people. And so this is actually a very good thing. Um, Venus is also um, trying Neptune that day. And so love is really going to be on a lot of people's minds. And uh, there's just going to be this idolistic feeling or, um, yeah, I think so. Because that Neptune is in um, that 11th house of friends and the Venus is in the 7th house. And hopefully you and your friends will make up and... Um, there will not be any hard feelings. On the 25th, the moon is in Leo, which well, it means that there's optimism. And the moon in Leo is trying Sagittarius. So it's a very positive day for a lot of people um, because the moon and um, Jupiter are, um, are trying. It's a very happy day for Christmas. Happy, um, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you Taurus that day. And that is the 25th. And that moon in Leo, by the way, is your fourth house. So hopefully you'll just have a good, fun time at home with your friends and family. On the 29th, uh, the moon in Libra is square the sun in Capricorn. And that means there's probably going to be some uh, issues when it comes to relating to people. Um, especially... Um, when it comes to like your personal philosophy about things and it just could mean that you might have a little bit of friction or problems with your health that day I could see your health maybe flaring up a little on the 29th so be aware of that on the 31st Mars enters Aries and it is home in Aries that means Mars is now in your 12th house and where Mars and Aries usually brings a lot of energy it's kind of hidden when it's in that 12th house, but what it will bring energy to is your subconscious mind. So really pay attention to what you're thinking and what you're feeling and the thoughts that you have going on secretly in the back of your mind. Because if you have aggressive, angry thoughts going on in your subconscious mind, that's what you're going to start portraying, that angry, aggressive persona. So you really want to avoid that. Okay, Taurus? Anyway, my Taurus friends, it has been a pleasure and an honor. I hope that December 2018 is a beautiful, wonderful month for you. Happy holidays to you. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Um, happy Kwanzaa <laughs> to all of you Taurus people out there. And may, um, oh, and Happy New Year as well. And may much love and light shine upon you and your family. Okay. Namaste. Bye now.